Hi everyone, this is Randy and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. And in this tutorial, we will be creating this. Before we start, make sure that this 8 bits per channel change this to 16 bits per channel to have a better color accuracy. Okay, I will create a new composition and I will name it placeholder one. I will change this width to 1300 and the height I will change this to 1600. The resolution here I will change this to quarter and the duration change this to 20 seconds click ok open my assets folder go to image and i will drop down this image into the timeline press s on my keyboard for the scale and shift p for the position so i will just scale it down a bit move on the left side a little bit too then I will highlight this placeholder one and control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. I will double click my mouse to open it up and then delete this image, replace it with this second image. I will drop down into my timeline, press S on my keyboard for the scale, I will scale it up. I think that's good enough. I will highlight these two placeholders, press control D on my keyboard 14 times to duplicate it. Okay, and I will create a new folder here and I will name it placeholders. Then I will highlight all these placeholders, drag it on that folder. Then I will go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it media one. The width is 1920 and the height is 2160. 30 frames per second and still the duration is 20 seconds. Click OK. Then I will open my folder assets, go to other elements, open the media folder. Then I will just drop these images down into the timeline and also this texture, drop it down into the timeline. And I will open the placeholders and drop the placeholder one into the timeline just above the texture. Close these folders. I will highlight these layers, press S on my keyboard for the scale and shift P for the position. I'll just drag this frame just above the placeholder. I will highlight this frame too and change the scale here to 30. The frame, I will change this to 140. Enable the lock here so it will not move. Highlight this element, put it here. Maybe I will duplicate this typo and lock this one. Put it on this side. Highlight this media one. Press Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it. Open it up. Unlock this placeholder one to replace it with the placeholder two. Press my keyboard Ctrl Alt and hold it. Open the placeholders. Drag down the placeholder two into the timeline to replace the placeholder one. I will unlock this, unlock this one and hide it. Reposition these elements here. Like that. You can reposition it wherever you want. It's up to your choice. Okay. This is just an example for us. I will highlight these two media. Press Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it 14 times. Then I will create a folder and I will name it media. I will highlight all these media. And I will drag it up to the media folder. Now I will go to composition, open a new composition. I will name it elements. We'll change the width here to 4K, which is straight 40. 
and 2160 the duration is still 20 seconds and the frame rate is 30 click ok then i will open these folder assets go to my other elements open this bg folder i will drop these elements down into the timeline and also the texture i will highlight this layer and move it down a bit like that this element i will move it on this side click R on your keyboard for the rotation and just rotate it a bit maybe like that and then click s for the scale I'll just scale it up to about 205. Go to effects and preset. Go to generate fill. I will change this to brownish. I think that should be good enough. Then I will highlight this one. Put it here on top. Press the S on my keyboard to scale it up to 305. Then I will go back to my project panel, open it up and drop this color guide into my timeline. I'll just drag it up to here. Highlight this footage. Go to effects and reset fill. All I have to do is just to choose this color. Okay. Grab my text tool and type graphics. I'm going to be using here a font called Poppins. I want it bold. Press R on my keyboard for the rotation and Shift P for the position. Then I will change the font size to about 1300. I think it should be good enough. And go to effects and preset and apply fill on it. Take this color picker. I'll just choose this color. Rotate it probably 30 degrees. Drag it on the right side. Drag it down a bit. Then press T on your keyboard for the opacity. I just want to change the value on the opacity probably 50%. Then I will close it. Disable the visibility of my color guide. Then I will go to my composition and create a new composition. I will name it All Media Animation. I'm using 4K, 3040 by 2160, 30 frames per second, and 20 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to my project panel and close some of these folders. Drop down this logo into the timeline. Also these elements. Then I will highlight this logo. Press S on my keyboard for the scale. I will just change this to 55%. Then I will highlight both of them and enable the 3D layers here. Go and open media folder. Highlight the media 1 to 30 and then drop it down to the timeline i will enable the 3d layers here and also the motion blur then move my play to about seven frames and press p on my keyboard for position create a keyframe here move back my play to the beginning of my timeline change this y value position to negative 1276 then i will highlight this media one go to effects and preset perspective i will just add drop shadow I will change the drop shadow distance here to about 10. The softness, I want it 20. Then I will highlight the drop shadow, go to edit, copy it, and I will highlight the media 2 to 30. Paste it. Now I will scroll back my mouse, highlight these two layers, and I will drag it down to the bottom. I will scroll back again to the media one and highlight all these keyframes and press my keyboard F9 to easy it. Now I will move my playhead to about 1 second and 10 frames and highlight this media 30. Press open bucket key to move that layer. Move my playhead at the last keyframe and press R on my keyboard for the rotation. Change the Z rotation to 5 and then highlight this media 29 and press open bracket key to move that layer then move my playhead again to the end of the keyframe and press R on my keyboard for the rotation and i will change this to probably negative 5. then i will highlight this media 28 and press open bracket key to move that layer and i will move my player forward again to the end of the keyframe move this on the right side Press R on my keyboard for the rotation. I'll just rotate it probably 25. I think it should be good enough. And you will do this to all the media, okay? And I will just speed it up, guys, because I don't want you to wait for long, okay? All you have to do is to just basically change the position and the rotation according to your choice. 
so you have some kind of variation in your animation So now we are done here. So all I have to do is to highlight this media four. I will just change the color code here to purple. Then I will highlight these compositions. Then I will move my play to about seven and eighteen frames. Then I will move this on that duration. so we're good to go here all i have to do is to go to composition create a new composition and i will name it main 38 40 by 21 60 30 frames per second but the duration i will change this to 30 seconds then i will click ok then i will go to my project panel and i will close this media drop down this all media animation into the timeline then i will grab my text tool type fast memory lane I'm using a Dakota font. I will just change the size of the font here to 245. Then I will go back to my text tool, type a slideshow. I'll drag it on the right side. Then I will change the font size here to 305. I will just drag it down a bit like that. Then I will highlight these two text layers. Go my play it to about 12 seconds adjust this layer to that duration I highlight this all media animation go to edit and duplicate it right click my mouse and enable time remapping interchange the keyframes i'll just just put it in here just in case then i will move my layer on the 12 seconds duration for now then open my assets folder open the sound effects highlight this and drop it down to the timeline right click my mouse go to time enable time remapping i'll just extend this layer up to the end of my timeline and also i will drag this keyframe at the end then expand this audio to see the waveform it's time for you to sync your sound effects into your animation according to your choice and i will just speed it up guys because i don't want you to wait for long okay
So now I'm gonna go to layer and I will create new adjustment layer. Drag it up on top and go to effects and preset. Go to color correction. I'll just add curves. We'll just increase the contrast just a bit and then change this to blue. I'll probably just drop down the blue like this. I think that should be good enough. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it final. The rate 40 by 2160, 30 frames per second. I want to change the duration to 20 seconds. Then click OK. Then I will go to my project panel. I will drop down the main into the timeline. Go to effects and preset, color correction, and channel mixer. Change the value on the blue, blue, zero. Then I will go to effects and preset. Go to distort, find CC lens. I will change this CC lens to about 102. And the convergence, I want to change it to only two. Then I will duplicate this main. I will change this green green to zero. I want the red red only. Highlight the main below. I also have to change the red red here to zero. I will go back to the above main. Change the convergence to one. Go to effects and preset. Go to blur and sharpen. Radial blur. I just want to change the amount here to one. Then I will highlight this main and duplicate it again. Then I will change the convergence here to two. Then I will change the red to zero and the blue blue. I want it 100. Go to layer, create new adjustment layer. Then go to effects and preset, blur and sharpen. I just want to add sharpen. I want the sharpen amount to seven. Then I will go back to layer and create a new adjustment layer. And this time I'm gonna go to effects and preset. Go to color correction. I want to add lumetri. Then I will open this creative lumetri. Open this look. And choose this SL Gold Western. Then I will highlight all these three layers. Toggle my switches in here. And I will change the blending mode to add. Nice. Before we preview it, I already rendered it so that it will not be very long for us to preview. So let's try to play it. So guys, I think that our tutorial is done and I hope that you have learned something on it and enjoy watching this tutorial. Don't forget guys to like and subscribe or even share it to your friends if you like and press the notification bell so that you will be notified in all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading. And my thoughts for the day guys is that the secret of learning is understanding. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.